other thing is, is you don't want to be abrupt with your movements when it comes to really pulling with energy work because that really collides with the way energy naturally operates and moves. Okay, energy is always flowing in these spiral-like motions. If you watch any uh, any of the birds out there that murmurize, call murmurations or whatever, murmurize may be my own term for it. If you ever watch them, they're moving in these spiral formations, these flowy paths. Okay, that's the way energy naturally operates. It operates in nice flowy movements. Okay, if you're really rigid you're really abrupt with your movements you see this okay if you do a lot of stuff that is more oriented towards shock as opposed to flow then all you're gonna do is get that out of your environment and shock typically tends something to stay in a catatonic comatose state you don't want to shock your system you want to flow with it Everything about you has to operate in a nice, flowy pattern, flowy frequency that is more geared towards how energy naturally moves. Okay? Sometimes just simply opening your hands up like that, see? initially was running this direction and then it ended up getting pushed out because of the way that I was directing the energy. See now look, see these abrupt movements? I'm getting abrupt and completely out of sync movements here because I'm actually moving that way. Now you don't want your energy to flow that way. You want it to be a smooth process. See how clean the, mo uh, the motions are. Extremely technical, can be sped up, slowed down, whatever. As I showed you before, as I was moving side to side, back and forth like that. So that's the reason why you want your movements to be nice and flowy, complete with cycles and circles. And eventually you'll find yourself just being able to whack, 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 direct the movement. 